I'm part of a team that's trying to re, re, repeat the golden record experiment. Uh, we're trying to create like an open source version of the golden record that future spacecraft are, are able to download and basically put on a little hard drive that they can carry around with them and you know get these distributed hopefully across the solar system eventually. And so it's going to be called the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, right? Yeah, <laughs> it could be. That's a good name for it. We've we've been toying a little bit with the name, but I think probably it would just be Golden Record at this point, or Golden Record Version yeah. Two, or something. But um, I think uh, I think a, another benefit that I see of this activity is that it forces us as a species to ask those questions about what it is that we want another civilization to know about us. The Golden Record was kind of funny because it had photos on it and it had photos of people eating for instance um but it had no photos of people defecating mm -hmm. and so i always thought that was kind of funny because if, <laughs> if i was if i was an alien yeah or if i was studying an alien if i saw images of an alien i would yeah. i'm not trying to be like a perv or anything but i would want to see the full bio i want to understand the biology of that alien and so we we always censor what we mm -hmm. what we show um, and we, sh we should show the whole actual natural process and then also say we humans tend to censor these things. We tend to not like to walk around naked. We tend to not to talk about uh, some of the natural biological phenomena and talk a lot about others. Yeah. And, and actually just be very uh, like the way you would be to a therapist or something, very transparent about the way we actually operate. Yeah. In this world. I mean, and Sagan had, the, Sagan had that with the golden record. I think he, he originally. Uh, there's a there's a male and a female figure to pitch on the golden record and the the woman had a genitalia originally drawn and uh there was a lot of pushback from i think a lot of christian groups who were not happy about the idea of throwing this into space and so eventually they had to remove that and so it's it would be confusing biologically if you're you know trying to study xenobiology of, of this alien that apparently has no genitalia or the man does but for some reason the woman doesn't you know and that's our that's our own uh, societal and cultural uh, imprint happening into that information that's to be fair just even having two sexes and predators and prey just the whole that could be just a very unique earth-like thing so they might be confused about why there's like pairs of things? Like why are you <laughs> like why why is there a man and a woman in general? Like they they could be I mean they could be confused about a lot of things in general. I don't I don't think the well, they don't even know which way to hold the hold the picture. Exactly. Right? <laughs> you know? Or there's a picture. They don't they might not need they they might have very different sensory devices to even Correct, interpret yeah. this. If they, if they only, you know, have uh, sound as their only way of navigating the world, it's kind of lost just to send any kind of you know there's been a lot of conversation about sending video and uh audio uh, and uh video and pictures and i've that's one of the things i've been a little bit resistant about in the team that i've been thinking well they might not have eyes and so if you lived in um under europa surface having eyes wouldn't be very useful um if you lived in a on a very dark planet on the tightly locked night side of an exoplanet having eyes wouldn't be particularly useful so it's kind of a, a presumption of us to think that video is a useful form of communication